What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video today. We're going to take a look at or talk about this Batman Armory update by Hot Toys and they're positive ones. Um, this was on my radar and I, I still think this is still available for pre-order. I mean, this is going to be a big ticket item, but look at the updates right here. I think that's a significant upgrade from what we have on dx19 and i thought dx19 looks already pretty darn good um dx19 was closer to the armory version the one that i have from years back but this offers a whole new set of upgrades as you can see here the elbows um the paddings on the shoulders a bit darker i would say shinier uh the gauntlet the body proportions are totally different you saw earlier the mask uh, the cowl itself is a huge improvement. It almost gives me uh, a custom cowl vibe. Maybe not as accurate as, you know, the, the custom ones out there, but definitely an improvement and an incentive to buy, you know, from somebody like myself who has, I would say, every iteration of the Dark Knight that Hot Toys released. You know, I bought the DX12, sold it, got the uh, Armory version. I still have the Armory version. Then I purchased DX19 because I thought it was an improvement. But this is an improvement. Like that ma that shot right there from the eyes, the shape of the cowl, uh, the, the, the proportions of how the back plate looks in here. Uh, you can't deny that this, these, at least from a hardcore Batman collector like myself, the chest uh, plate right here. It's a, a significant improvement for me to even justify more because I already found a way or convinced my, like the eyes, the mouth plates, uh, the way the cowl, the shape through the neck. Uh, no doubt it it is a an upgrade to what we have. Now, does that mean DX19 for those owners uh, like myself? Is it trash? No, it's still pretty darn good. Um, the good news is, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with the Dark Knight. You could use the DX19, for example, to go inside uh, the armory and use this suit as a standalone figure. Uh, you know what I mean there? Like, because it would be a shame to use this figure and just put it inside the armory. So instead of having him sit there, you could use this and use the X-19 inside. Kind of like, you know, if you have a Hall of Armor, uh, you could put that display too if you have two Mark Fives or, you know, Iron Man, for example. Uh, with the Dark Knight, you could put the X-19 inside if you have one. So it's not a total waste. And then use the, uh, if you, you know, just empty the cowl or whatever the case may be. But that is something that you could also do, you know, if you have a DX. Or you can always sell it. But uh, enhanced bat suit, cowl detailing, and refined body accurate proportion. I definitely agree with that. Especially with this MMS 702, uh, the chest plate, uh, body accurate proportion. They are paying attention now because of what Inart has been showing, uh, especially with the Batman, with Pattinson. I think that is the the you know the best selling point for Inart was the body proportions because even on the prototype it was evident that the proportions for their Batman is a little bit better. Maybe maybe we're not talking about night and day in here, but it is better indeed on on the Inart compared to the Hot Toys Batman. Now in here, hopefully these are signs of things to come where Hot Toys is going to pay attention now uh, to the body proportions and not just use a generic body moving forward, but actually, you know, put some effort and extra attention to detail when it comes to things like that. Not just head sculpt, because this head sculpt, I, I don't know, it looks good. I'm not completely convinced out of it, but the set as well, you know, this, this kind of statue-esque, non-articulated... Uh, Bruce Wayne is this set is good enough for me, right? Like without uh, the upgrades initially, but I was on the fence. I was just like, do I really need this? But now that they did this, 
it uh i just kind of confirmed that it was gonna be I, i'm gonna get it <laughs> i am definitely gonna get this one i don't know if i'm gonna pre-order it i know to some people it's waitlisted you know like i you know I, I, it pops in and out at big bad where i normally get my hot toys figure when this gets released i'm sure i will have the opportunity to pick this up at big bad because that, that's always been the case i was able to pick up peace peacemaker I was able to pick up um, uh, Black Adam, Wolverine, Days of Future Past. So I go to their website religiously and I see this, you know, uh, releases when they actually gets released. And I normally post it on here on YouTube. If if anyone is interested, you know, normally I would say that, you know, you can you can come here. But yeah, thighs are bigger, I would say just just overall if you're a Batman fan, it, it might have not have been as obvious to me because I I'm not that kind of collector where I'm I'm you know I'm looking at the every small detail of the figure. But now that it's in front of me, it it became clear that I need to upgrade uh, my DX19 slash Armory version of the Dark Knight, and you know. We don't know if Inart's going to make their own, uh, but even if they did, it's probably going to be the same price without the uh, armory. With the armory, it's probably going to be more expensive. So for me, I'll just go with a Hot Toys version and, you know, pay the price and get the armory at the same time. If I do that, it'll be crazy because I'm going to ha literally have three batmans the the armory from the dark knight this and dx19 i'm gonna try to sell my dx19 uh to how much i paid for but if i can't sell it like i mentioned earlier it's not a total loss it's not a total loss i'm gonna use it inside the uh the armory or use it with a bale head sculpt i, I don't know i'll do something about it but let me know in the comments, how do you feel about this upgrade? Because I know a thing now is I'll wait till Inart drops it. Uh, does this justify purchasing this for you or even upgrading from a DX19? Because if you are thinking of upgrading the, the, the cowl from a third party, I think the third party is like $200, $250. So if you add another more, you get a full figure with a better proportions because even if you upgrade a cowl, you still have, you know, uh, like a shoddy proportions. But let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.